but we talking about Taylor Swift, man. So let, let me bring this up. This, I, I talked about Beyonce last week. Me and Boss Lady Angel talked about Beyonce. We talked about her tour bringing in half a billion dollars. Beyonce had a 56-city tour, and she brought in 500, almost $600,000. She did like 8000 something i mean eight million a a, a a show and um she 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 did a hell of a thing but listen i'm not talking black and white again we talking about levels as big as beyonce is it's a level above beyonce and if you want to know the level that's above beyonce that level is taylor swift listen what i'm telling y'all let's pull this up Taylor Swift projected to make $4.1 billion on the Eras Tour. This is what I'm telling y'all. Beyonce just ended her world tour. She went around the world. She went to 59 cities, right? I went to two stops. In her, in her traveling, she generated $600 million. Okay, now you can pay her $600 million. On her tour that she made to $4.1 billion. It's levels to this shit, man. This is what I'm telling you. It's levels to this shit. Uh, well, well, what you saying, CEO? Taylor Swift is better than Beyonce? Nope. What I'm saying is it is levels to this shit. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, we not talking about better. We talking numbers. Do you understand what I'm saying? We talking about $600 million versus $4.1 billion. I'm going to say that again. We're talking $600 million to $4.1 billion. And what it shows is that Taylor has a bigger market than Beyonce. Oh, she should have a bigger market than Beyonce. Well, why? Oh, well, because she's white and Beyonce is black. So more white people support Taylor than they do Beyonce. That's an argument there. You can have that argument, but you can't have that argument with me. Here's why you can't have that argument with me. Because on yesterday, we was talking about Michael Jackson, who is black and who is the biggest artist of all time. So you could be black and you could be Taylor Swift. You could be bigger than Taylor Swift if you Michael Jackson. So y'all want to know who close to Michael Jackson? It would be Taylor Swift in numbers and in audience. But nobody can touch Mike. So if y'all saying um, Beyonce can't beat, Taylor, can't beat Taylor Swift because she's black, you are saying Beyonce is not Michael Jackson. I hope that makes sense to y'all. I hope I'm making some sense here. What, what, what I'm telling y'all is this. You can't categorize yourself as the best in the category of white and black. You got to categorize yourself as the best of all time. And when it comes to this music shit in this era right now, you got three people at the top of this shit. You got Taylor Swift. She's number one. You got Beyonce. She's number two. And then you got Drake. He's number three. And none of them is Michael Jackson. Yeah. None of them can't come close to what Michael Jackson was able to produce and put out, man. So, again, it's levels to this shit. It's people that play basketball and it's people that's in the NBA. Those are two different levels, man. Two different fucking levels, man. And there's levels to this shit. And when, and when you understand that, and when you don't bullshit yourself and acknowledge what level you at, you can start making some progress, man. Yeah, you can start making some progress, man. Let's let, let's pull this up real quick. Let, let's see what's going on. Bam. Here we go right here. Let's read this here, man. It's a uh, Taylor Swift's era tour and film are estimated to bring in a whopping... 4.1 billion dollars in profit making it the most lucrative concert tour in u.s history the tour has already had a significant impact on the economy with hotels and cities where the tour is stopping adding 200 million dollars to city's bottom line her pulling up drops 200 million dollars in the bucket man and she did six shows Beyonce came to Houston and did two shows here in Houston. Taylor Swift went to L.A. and did six show dot shows. That's a, what, 300% markup? 
injecting $320 million into the economy. Swift is also sharing wealth by giving over $50 million. L listen to what I'm telling you. This motherfucker here says Smith is uh, uh, Taylor Swift is also sharing the wealth by giving over $50 million in bonuses, right, to her concert crew. $100,000 to each trucker hauling her tour's equipment. The demand for the air tour movie is also high with pre-sales eclipsing $100 million. Her fucking movie just dropped in cinemas and people was having concerts at the movies. Listen, while she's on tour, she dropped the movie about the tour and the movie sold out. She just made more money in the, in the movie for movie theaters than the movie business had all year. She did this in one day. I don't think y'all understand when we talking about levels, bro. Again, y'all just be on there talking because it just be entertainment. But it's real levels to this shit. And until you doing a real analysis and a real comparison, let's quit playing. Let's quit playing. Ain't nobody fucking with this, this girl, man. Yeah, this girl is goddamn me changing the world economy. Bro, and, 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 and that's just what it is. <laughs> yeah, straight up. I mean, that's that, that's just what it is, man. And, and hey, I don't know, man. Hopefully, y'all get that on, on the way home, man. Hopefully, that was some news you could use. Shout out to Beyonce, though. You know what I'm saying? Got roots in my hometown of Galveston, man. We support Beyonce to the fullest. But what I'm just talking about is like, hey, it's levels to this shit. It's niggas in the NBA. And it's niggas that play basketball, man. You got to figure out which one you is, right? Yeah. I want to, I'm a nigga that play basketball that's headed to the NBA, right? Because I'm an NBA type nigga, man. Yeah, straight up. And I prove that every day on this motherfucking internet. Why? I prove it with receipts and I prove it by putting it down, man. But I could go on and on, man. But I'm not. We finna get to these goddamn me snaps, man. Y'all know what time it is.